everybody, this is Mark the Game Shark here with another how-to video. In this video, we're going to be giving the NES Max Pad the D. Yeah, I mean, uh, D-Pad. Get right out of the gutter. So, I don't know if I'm going to jump cut there, probably not. <laughs> I like how I have an awkward pause, this thing I'm going to jump cut. But yeah, so we have an NES Max controller. And on eBay, I got a 3D printed D-pad. So we're just going to replace this annoying piece of junk. So basically, it's really simple. For me, I just use contact cleaner, alcohol, Q-tips, small number one Phillips head screwdriver, and the wrong screwdriver. Wait, how'd that get in there? Go away. Okay, so... First up, we just simply remove all the screws to access it. Which looks like someone was in here already. The screws are really loose. So hopefully they... So just sim that's all you do. Sim simple. And I'm going to clean this out too. So I'll probably go over a little bit of that, how to clean it out. Just to using the contact cleaner and the, uh, um, what is this? Is this stripped? Oh, come on. Come on. I don't think I'm going to put this one back in. It looks like it's stripped. I'm going to try and find, uh, good thing I keep a bunch of screws because I actually have, <clears throat> I had a broken one. Oh, yeah, that's stripped. Of, ooh. I don't know if it's going to show up on camera. Is it going to show up? No. It's stripped to hell. I'm not, using, I'm not using that one. Damn, looks like all these are, are stripped. Jesus. That's the... Ah, crap. Looks like one screw is stripped. This one, I don't know what the hell it's doing. It's out, but it doesn't want to come out. Come on. That one doesn't want to come out, and this one is stripped. What the hell? Oh, crap. Damn. Well, this sucks. <laughs> How the camera move over? Piece of shit. All right, sorry for that jump cut, guys. Um, had to do some drastic measures with the screws because uh, yeah, two of the screws were stripped. And then this screw right here, the plastic piece broke off. So what a pain in the ass. <laughs> so hopefully you guys have a better uh, NES Max than I do. So I had to use uh, good uh, drastic measures and drill out the screw. So yeah, I don't think I can replace them. It's pretty, pretty bad. It's like, you see that right there? Where's the other one at? Yeah, the other one is up there. So, what you want to do is you want to pop out all the buttons. So, you got these. And where are the other, uh, the little pads? There's two pads. Got... Got start and select. Take them out. 
got A and B, and the A and B turbo. Okay. Whew. So, now this is, now what I want to do is I want to try and, because uh, it's kind of like off center. Ooh, what's her hair on it? It's kind of off center. It's not all, it's not even, as you can see. See how it's like, this is longer than that. This side's longer than this side right here. So what I want to do is try to like make sure it's the same exact uh, way as this one. So I lift this out straight up. So it looks like the longer side is at the top. Um, yeah, so lift this, lift it straight out and move it to the move it to the side. And then that way when I fit, when you fit this in, you can kind of line it up. That's interesting how they made this. There's like a little, they have like little gaps in here at the bottom. So I'm trying to make sure this is lined up properly. You see there's like a little gap on the side here. Hmm, that's weird. Um, see, so yeah, I think, I'm pretty sure it's this way. Yeah, I thought it was going to be like the similar shape as the original um, uh, sliding pad. I don't know what the heck it's called, but it's different. So it looks like, and from here, according to this, is like that. That looks about right. The most, yeah, okay. So we got it lined up like this. I'm going to try and move my fingers so you can see hopefully it doesn't pop out so what I did when you saw it remember when I saw it initially this side was short and then this side was long so you basically when the looking from the back the right side is short and the left side is long so it's like left and right the top and bottom are the same are the, are the same they don't they look like the same uh, side so that's the best fit, as you can see. So there you go. So I'm going to wash everything up. I basically just pretend I'm doing dishes when I'm cleaning all this stuff. Is um, But yeah, I'm not going to show you how to clean all this stuff. These guys know. All you basically do is run like warm water. I usually like rinse it off first. And then I'll take like dish soap and I have a dish rag. And I'll just scrub it. And just get all the dirt and grime off of it. So I'm going to jump cut to that. Uh, once that's done and everything's dry. And we'll go from there. Alright guys. So cleaned up the parts. Oh my gosh. Boy did this one give me a run for my money. I should have uh, recorded some of it. But I'll just go over some uh, tips. When if this uh, cleaning these uh, gives you an issue. Main thing I want to talk about is this button here with the uh, square base. Oh my god, getting around like that corner there with all the dirt that was just caked on there was a pain in the dick. So what I basically, I use this scrub brush and I use uh, I have dish soap there. I also have a magic eraser and I used a Q-tip as well and just like got in there and just started scrubbing. I ended up using my finger to like, my finger now to scrape some of it off and that helped. So yeah, so if it's giving you a hard time, uh, use the magic eraser and then try to use your finger now just to try and like scrape it off because, geez, that was a pain in the ass. Um, what else? So, oh yeah, this one, right around the curves here, as you can see that right there and right here, they were giving me issues. Like there was this grind that just didn't want to come up. So with that, I just used the magic eraser and, the, and mixed with the scrub brush and that just came up. Same with here, like with the, where it says Nintendo, all this stuff here, it was like all black inside of it. I just scrubbed it with the magic eraser and then followed it up with the regular dish scrub brush. And yeah, um, this part, this is the only part I couldn't get. There's like a little dot there. I don't know what the hell that is, but it's not coming up. <laughs> so, so, yeah, there it is. I'm just going to wait for it to dry, and we'll uh, assemble it. I will also recap 
how to install the D-pad as well. So let's go back to the to the bench. All right, guys, I'm back. I got everything scrubbed. Everything's clean. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention in the uh, when I sh showed you like tips of how to clean it, I forgot these these little inside the circle here. They need to be cleaned. Um, I I scrubbed in. It's hard to scrub inside there. So what I did as it was wet, like all the grime was still like kind of like I guess soggy from the water. So I basically just went in with a Q-tip and I just did like this. Just cleaned it out and just attached the Q-tip. And it, that's how I clean that. I cleaned inside these holes here. Same with the little start and select were fine. It was just mainly these four holes for the A, B, and the uh, turbo buttons. So I just wanted to point that out before I forgot. I, of course, I forgot when I was, as I was making, I was like, oh crap, there's still dirt there. <laughs> I was like, that's not good. I'm like telling them, oh yeah, it's clean. No, it's not. It still looks like shit. Um, so let's recap. So when you put it in the back, the left side of the, you have uh, basically the one, I, I would say like the sides that stick out. You have one, two, four sides that stick out. So the same sides are at the top and bottom. The left side is the longer side and the right side is the short one. So that's how you want to fit it in. So there's that. Um, one thing I also noticed which I'm surprised I didn't hear rattling around or, f or found it. You see these, they have these like little pegs here that hold the um, pad in place. Well, this one, look at if you see it, this one's broken off. So it should be fine. I mean, I'm still debating. I mean, I'm, I'm going to, I'll hook it up and test it, but it should be okay. I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. I mean, heck, I'm good. I'm going out with three with three screws less in this damn thing, so it better work. <laughs> so, all right, next step: take the circuit board and I base and your contact cleaner, and I just I just squirt it. So I'm trying to move the camera, so you can see. Just, just do this. Squirt it. There you go. And flip it around. And there you go. That's done. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, I also, also do the same thing with the pads, the magnetic part of it. Want to spray with contact cleaner just to clean up any grime that I could have missed. It should be fine though. You probably don't need to do that. I'm just crazy. So there we go. So now we get to just basically put everything back into place here. Um, it's all. Now to put it back in place, you have these little legs or these arms sticking out. So it's really like simple. Oh God, as it falls. Yeah, like, it only goes in one way, which is nice. So if it doesn't go in one way, I mean, obviously for me, it's not going to work because I suck at 50-50. Oh shit. Ugh, oh, damn it. One's trying to escape. And just stick them back in. So it's real easy. Nothing, nothing too hard. Oh yeah, see, there's, yeah, there's. If I find out there's, there's some little bit of grime still on these on the bottom here. So what I do, I just take a Q-tip with alcohol and just. Rub it at the bottom just to get it up, like that. I don't know if that's gonna focus. You can sort of see, whatever. <laughs> you know what dirt looks like. It's not that. Oh, there's dirt. Man, these are a real pain in the ass to clean. A hundred percent. Jesus Christ. The fuck they make this shit. How do they get so gross? Who's like? I want to know what hands to touch these, and I want to, like, chop the person's hands off. Like, dude, your hands are gross. You don't even belong in society. Gross-ass hands. Jesus Christ. Are you playing fucking Mega Man? Like, all sweaty hands. Like, oh, my God. I'm a Dr. Wily. I have one life left. Took me nine hours to get here. 
Fuck off. Here's Game Genie. <laughs> All right, well, I wasn't, wasn't expecting it to still be dirty, but there you go. So, that happens. What can you do? All right, come on, get in there. All right, so we got all four buttons back. Um, I'm gonna use my tray to kind of like hold it up so it doesn't pop out. There we go. So hold it in place. I think these are the same. Yeah, the start and select are the same. Doesn't matter which one you put them, which one you put in where. So they just slide in like, like so. There you go. I'm trying to try and angle it so they don't pop out. So yeah, so they're done. And we got the our new D-pad in. Now we just put these guys back. It's real simple. Magnet side facing up. Um, no, there we go. Where does this one go? Wait, is this broken? Oh my god. Mm, well, that's interesting. Oh, I see. So, so yeah. So with that pole being broken that I mentioned earlier, it doesn't hold the bottom part. It should be fine. I tested the controller; it worked. So I'm not too worried about it. Then you take the green circuit board side and lay it flat. So I think I go in more depth with the assembly part. Disassembly, like it's, you know, just rip it all out, who cares? <laughs> and you're like, wait a minute, how does, where's it, how's it go back? I'm trying to be careful with the D-pad because it only has one hole on it. Anyway, this fucking cable. There we go. You lift it up a teeny bit. Make sure nothing fell out. And there we go. It's all in. And just put the top back on and then we screw in our one screw that we have left. <laughs> this thing not going in. Um I don't know why this is giving me a hard time today. It should be the flat part that goes on. Again, PDS. There we go. Jeez. 
Why is this? Oh, that's because of that damn screw. That's why that's... Oh, that's why. So, yeah, so there's a little gap right there because that has the bad screw. Ugh, I really should have done this with a better, uh... I think it's Max controller. But... Eh, what can you do? Make it work, I guess. Oh man, what a pain. <laughs> I think I might actually try to super glue that one pole back later. Let me see how, how this looks with 33 screws. I don't know how they strip these screws anyway. Like, what are they doing? Uh, stupid. Or idiots. Like, how do they strip these screws? Well, that was, uh, that definitely gave me a run for my money. So there you have it. Hopefully you guys have, uh, Less crappier <laughs> NES Max control I mess with than I do. I'm I'm actually gonna look at my broken one. I have a broken one in my closet. I, I might actually just use that for it. But I just wanted to show you guys just the gist of installing. It's really simple. As long as you don't have a jacked up piece of shit like this. Unbelievable. So there you go, guys. Um, hope you hope this video was informative and uh you can just take this and throw it in the trash <laughs> and there um let me know what you guys think um i'll put a link to the ebay auction for these i i know it's one cell where i got these from um yeah it feels a little weird probably because this doesn't have all the screws put in and it's all janky so Anyway, I'm not going to waste any more of you guys' time. Um, I think I wasted more than enough. I apologize. Uh, I don't know why this is my second fucking how-to video that's gone absolutely haywire. Like, why can't why can't I have a normal fucking controller? Oh, my God. Anyway, guys, I uh, hope this was informative. And, yeah, definitely, definitely looks a lot better. Having a proper D-pad feels a little weird um I, as a, but i mean just as a as a d-pad is it's not like smooth it's like a little rough so whatever there you have it um i hope that video was informative and how to how to uh do the install um till next time guys this is mark the game shark signing out have a good day